Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you are going to learn about the assert keyword in Python, which you can use as a debugging tool to check the arguments passed to a function, type of the argument passed, and you can ensure that your code flows smoothly. Like every other video, there will be more hands-on in this video and less theory. So I'm going to move to PyCharm now, where I'll write a few example programs to help you understand the assert keyword. Assert keyword is one of the important concepts of Python that you should learn to ensure quality assurance in your Python program. Concepts like such help you grow in Python and if you want to keep receiving such tutorial videos of Python, then do subscribe to Joystick and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the notifications of my videos. Let's start with a function that accepts two parameters a and b and it returns the division results of a and b. So it will be def and we are going to name this function as simple underscore division. It's going to accept two parameters a and b. I'll put a colon here and then it's going to simply return the division of a and b. Now in the main function, let's call this function within print. So I'm going to create the main function first and then within the body of the main function, we are going to write print within brackets. We are going to call the simple division function. Let's pass nine as its first argument and zero as its second argument. What would happen if I called this division function by passing zero as the second argument? Let's try it out. So let's run this program. There you go. It raises a runtime exception, zero division error, division by zero. To ensure that the program doesn't proceed with the execution, when it encounters the divisor, that means this second argument P as zero, we should use the assert keyword. The assert keyword is going to introduce the assertion statement in this function, which actually is a Boolean expression that returns either true or false. If it returns true, the program continues to run. But if it is false, the program stops the execution and throws an assertion error. So before the return statement, we are going to introduce the assert keyword. So I'm going to simply write assert after which I'm going to mention the condition, which will be B not equals to zero. Let me give some space. That's it. Remember, the program continues further only if this condition is true. In this program, B is zero. So this is going to fail this condition and will thus return false. Hence, assertion error will be raised. Let's try it out. Let's run this program. Again, you can see that the assertion error is raised. There is another variety of assertion that is possible in Python in which we can give an optional message that will be displayed if the Boolean expression returns false. And that message can be returned next to the expression after a comma. Let's try this out. So we are going to place a comma over here and let's print a message. Divisor cannot be zero. Let's run the program again. You can see that the program now displays the message over here that we provided over here after the comma. Also, let's write the right use case as well, in which we pass uh, a divisor, which is not zero, to show that this program indeed works. So let's write print within brackets. Let's call this function. Let the first parameter be nine and the second parameter be three. Of course, we'll have to write this function call before the function call in which the second argument is zero because the execution is bound to stop during this function call. Let's run this program and check if this function call works and this one should work. So let's run the program again. You can see that it prints three as a result of the division of nine and three. So the function is working fine and the assert keyword is also doing its job for us. Now, even though assertion error is being raised and our message is being successfully printed, but I don't want these extra traceback error messages to be printed. 
So to handle this, we will write our function calls within the try except block. The assert keyword traces the assertion error built in exception, which we are going to handle using the try except block. So let's write it. Therefore, we are going to simply write try colon. Yes, the indentation is important. So let's give proper indentation to these lines of code. And after that, let's write except. We'll write assertion error as m colon. And let's print out the message. That's it. Now let's run the program and check whether these trace back error messages disappear or not. There you go. This output looks decent and the right message is being displayed as well. So assert keyword raised the assertion error exception, which was handled by our try except block. The message that we gave over here was passed as an argument to this exception argument m and was thus printed using this line of code. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the assert keyword in Python. Do hit the like button because it encourages me to create more such videos for you. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Thank you and goodbye.